Uh, hello and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm um, painting um, some bottles in my room. It seems like some still life instead of going from a photo reference. I decided to uh, paint from life. Um, did a bit of painting from life today at TLC. Uh, not a model, but uh, just um, a friend actually, um, Angelique. I painted his shoes. Um, she never saw the painting, but. Um, Yes, I painted some shoes today, so it was fun, I like shoes. But here I am, um, going with the black, um, painting a, a bottle, and it's a mug, it's a, a thermos mug, actually, for, I got it for, like, holding curries and porridge and that kind of stuff. But, um, I haven't used it a lot, I really should use it more, it's really nice. Um, this, these were just sitting on my uh, bedroom, um, just, just on, on my drawers. I might actually um, take a photo of, of them and upload it to the blog when I upload this uh, video and such. Um, there's another bottle that's sitting on its side. Um, these are Steinlager bottles actually. Um, they've been in my room for a long time. I need to clean them out. Um, I'm moving flat soon so I'm um, going to give my room a big tidy up and get rid of everything. Look good. New flat, new start. Good. Um, so you've got those bottles in, and um, just doing a bit of shadow, I've been exploring shadow quite a bit lately, I like to put in more shadows and stuff into my, uh, into my work, uh, more kind of, I guess, realism, um, to a certain extent, with, uh, with shadows, and here I'm playing for the idea of putting maybe a sky in the background here, it's another really big goal for me this year is to look at sky, um, and environments and that. Um, I'm actually thinking about taking Mark Hill's, uh, one of Mark Hill's classes this term because I was given a whole lot of board and I wanted to do oil paintings onto it so I'd like to do some landscape oil paintings. Um, that'd be fun. Um, yeah. Okay so I've finished with the black now that's all so I'm just sorting out my colours. I had predetermined colours because um, this was for Sketch Daily and the, the theme was uh, blue, yellow, green, and one other colour, there was, there was one other colour here, oh, here I'm going in with the blue, um, at this point I realised that my, um, brush wasn't going smaller, I had pen pressure set, I realised GIMP wasn't registering my tablet properly, it wasn't, I had to reset my computer in order to fix it. And I'd already like started halfway through recording this painting, so I'm like, ah, screw it. I'm just gonna keep on with the uh, with the painting and just just see how it comes out. So yeah, it got the blue in there. Like, I think it looks pretty dumb not having pen pressure um, size control. I really like the idea of pen pressure size control. It gives it a, you know, it gives it so much more than create more graphic. Um, images, but I like those graphics. I guess it's my my design background kind of coming in there a bit. Um, I don't know. I just feel these images just they don't feel finished, unlike the the more stronger pieces that are solid pieces that I've been working on more recently. Um, I was really unhappy with that blue as well. Like that first blue was okay, but when I put in that second blue, the lighter stuff it's just a horrible blue. It's just like horrible to work with. I'm like. I'm not using this blue. There is no way I'm using this blue. So that's why I've switched here to the yellow. So I've put in some yellow. I'm still not really happy here. I'm actually really quite frustrated with the work. It's like, oh my god, why is this not on size control? So it is frustrating. Oh, so annoying. But anyway, I'm carrying on with it. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just do this quickly. So you can see here I'm actually working quite fast, which is good. I think it's important to to work fast. Kind of doing quite um, graphic, almost like kind of street art movements um, with, with the brush. It's a cool brush I've been using. I switched to a different brush to the, then before. I wasn't really happy with some of the earlier brushes. I've got this nice squiggle and squiggle going there. Um, moved on to the green. Yeah. Like, it's turning quite abstract. Like, it's gone beyond just having the bottles there. That's what I really like. I like work eyes. Talking to one of my tutors today actually about this, working from the uh, 
model, or like we're working from the model, the reference, and then going going into like abstract or like your imagination and stuff like that. Like, hey, I really like that idea. So, so I'm kind of really digging it at the moment with this green. It's just, yeah, I'm just gonna fill in the areas of green because it doesn't matter because I'm so over it. Just, yeah, just do it. Eh? It's a nice thing. So I'm really enjoying this. It's like. I'm almost creating the different strokes with this brush, like it's creating variations in the brush size from using from going over top. I, I think that's a really cool idea instead of controlling the brush size with the actual pen, doing it with additional layers over top, um, so that yellow's got quite a variation because of the green. I, I like that idea. So I keep on with it. I'm working really quickly, just getting everything down. Good, good. Now it certainly, um, certainly started quite badly, but I started building it up. Here I've gone in with a much lighter, much whiter green. Um, I'd chosen these colours beforehand, um, like my previous one. Um, it's going quite good here. Um, certainly not, not as much colour in this, this one. Uh, the, uh, the previous green, like that last, that last green had a lot of, lot of colours, is very white. And, I don't know, you, when you add white to colours, it really kills the colours a lot. So you've got to be careful with that, and that's what I've really done with this colour, is killed the colour by adding so much white. Quite like with traditional painting, you can kill a colour by adding white. Quite like a kind of idea, like, like muted colours and stuff. Like the idea of creating different shades of grey, of different greys of colours, something I'd quite like to explore this year a lot more as well. Here I am going back into the uh, more brighter green. It needed, it needed green up in that corner. One of my tutors, Dan, he always talks about like put a little bit of green in the bottom left hand there, put it up in the top right there. That's what he'll say about this, and I think it's really good. It gives it nice balance of of uh, the piece. Otherwise, it could feel quite Unbalanced. It's really looking at the design of the piece overall. Well, um, coming towards the end of this video, I've got about a minute left talking, so I um, hope you've enjoyed today. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing this piece. It was finally nice. I've had a very busy day, day, so it's finally nice to sit down and just do a bit of life, a bit of painting on the computer before I, I go to sleep. I'll need to go to sleep soon because I have class tomorrow. I've got a model for another three hours. I'll try and get those live streams uploaded um, sometime this week, if not this weekend, um, and you'll get to see fresh live streams. Just going in with the last bit of green, um, just to help balance it out a bit, but it's basically finished now. Um, I don't know, it's quite an experimental piece, and I wouldn't say it's my favourite at all, I'll just put it aside and move on to the next, so uh, thank you.